What time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. Where's it at? There, there. And it's time to follow my Instagram, Geekly Amanda, G E E K I Y Amanda. Same on Twitter. And it's time to get this reaction video started. A movie review. So let's chat Descendants 3. I've seen all the Descendants movies now, one, two, and three. Now the first one I loved. The first one I thought was wonderful. Right, right when I see it, I was like, this is gonna be a hit and there's gonna be four. And then the second one came out and I was like, meh. That's how I felt about the second one. I was like, eh, it's all right. So when the third one came out, I had mixed emotions. I was like, is it gonna be as good or is it gonna keep going downhill like the second one or is it gonna be as good as the first? Then I started seeing the music videos that come out because you know, Descendants, it's all about the music videos, right? It's all about the music in these. And the music was wonderful. First I saw Sarah Jeffries in The Queen of Mean and I was like, hello, hello, she's coming evil now. So it, the music videos gave us a little glimpse into what the movie was about. The music in Descendants 3 is on point. I don't know if Descendants can make a bad music song. <laughs> I don't know if they can make a bad music video or a bad song because I have always loved the songs in all the movies. Uh, all the original cast was back. You have Dove Cameron, of course, Cameron Boyce, who, rest in peace, this is gonna be his last one. Sophia Carson as Evie. Sophia, she she is, was made for that role, I think. She was, and then of course, Boo Boo Stewart, who I just like saying his name, Boo Boo Stewart. <laughs> I do. How many times can I say Boo Boo Stewart in this movie review? We're gonna count. Boo Boo Stewart. The great costumes, the colors in this, the cinematography is always great in these Descendants movies. They have never gone wrong with that. I love the vibrant colors on the screen, everyone's different hair color, their costumes, which even when they're over on the villain side, you know, and supposed to be living in these raggedy kind of conditions, their costumes are still wonderful, right? They're always just bright and colorful and it just makes part, that's one of the parts that makes the movie. Right now we're gonna start some spoilers, so if you haven't seen the movie, click off now because we're gonna talk about some stuff. First of all, we find out Hades comes into this and then he's Mal's dad, which he plays a big role because he plays like the big villain role in this and he turns out to be Mal's dad. Shows some of their interaction and even he like gives her a little kiss and gives her the little, the, 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 the crystal thing that helps. But I'm like, I wanna see more of their relationship just develop. Well, it leaves you open for Descendants 4. That's what they really can get into, right? Is seeing that relationship develop. Um, but I wanted to see more of it now. And then you have the Queen Amin. On the, on the Orion side, Sarah Jeffries comes out to be evil. She's then now the big villain. So it's a, this movie totally gives like the contrast of, yeah, that's what you think is the bad side, but they're actually helping over there. And on the good side, who you think's the good is actually having evil here. The message in this movie is what made it for me. Because they talked about blocking the bearer forever to keep out the villains, to keep out the evil people. But you get evil on your own side. The big villain in this, you get Sarah Jeffries, the Audrey, who, who turns into a villain in this, is on the good side. So it tells you right there, evil can be on either side. That building a wall, blocking the barrier, it's a reflection of what's going on here now in America. Building a wall, trying to block out what you think is the bad people from, and then keeping the good people safe. The, no, because we see right here in Descendants 3 how that don't work. It don't work. Evil's on every side. It's going to be on every side. Building a wall, blocking a barrier ain't going to stop the evil. What stops it is coming together, opening the barrier, working together, working with both sides, finding the good in both. A great message that teaches teaches everyone, you know, Disney does it best by sending those kind of messages that that show, you know, how we overcome our problems and, and uh, pure, maleficent, villains, Ursula kind of way. <laughs> so Descendants 3 for me was a definitely a two thumbs up. I loved every minute of it. And check out my reactions to all the songs if you haven't. Let me know what you think. Until next time comments, thumbs, all that.